The traditional blooming season for bearded irises is the late spring or early summer. But ever since irises were brought into gardens centuries ago, growers have sometimes been surprised by varieties reblooming in the late summer, fall, or even early winter if the climate is mild. This phenomenon seems particularly pronounced amongst the intermediates, whose first blooming season is on the early side in any case. A few old kinds of intermediates and talls rebloom with some reliability if growing conditions are favorable. The tendency to rebloom is hereditary, that is, seedlings from reblooming plant parents also rebloom. At the core of this genetic potential is evidently much more faster, more vigorous growth than is normal, so that rebloomers mature blooming size rhizomes in the late summer rather than the early fall. By selecting parents that have stronger and stronger reblooming tendencies, breeders have been able to create irises that will rebloom in most years, providing an exciting feeling of spring and autumn. The future looks bright for reblooming or remontant irises, but only as a part of their promise has been realized. Breeders have as their intermediate goal varieties that are the equal of any once bloomers and that bloom reliably at least twice a year. But that's not all. Meet with these enterprising hybridizers and they soon begin to talk about the possibility of continuous bloom in irises. Already there are a few miniature and standard dwarf varieties that have the potential to bloom three times a year. Right now rebloom is something of a gamble that depends on the genetic potential of the iris, the gardener's cultural practices, and the climate. Given a very strong tendency to rebloom, a variety like Lloyd Zerbrig's award-winning Immortality needs the best of growing conditions, including watering during summer droughts and perhaps extra feeding. This carries some dangers since the resulting growth may be soft and more susceptible to diseases and pests. Protection against debilitating diseases such as leaf spot is also a must. Indeed, some varieties with strong reblooming potential seem less winter hardy than varieties that do not rebloom. Here is where climate plays a role. If mild weather persists long into winter, as in Southern California, the chance for rebloom is enhanced because rhizomes have longer to mature and emerging bloom stalks will not be cut down by frost. In contrast, to get rebloom in New England, varieties must grow rapidly enough to be able to produce bloom in August or September. Some, surprisingly, are capable of doing just that. Achieving rebloom in irises requires careful selection of varieties, the best possible care and culture, a relatively mild climate, and perhaps most importantly, good fortune. But if hybridizers have the way, the tall bearded irises of the next century will have extended blooming seasons far beyond anything dr dreamed of just a few decades ago. This was reprinted from the Gardener's Iris Book by Dr. William Shear.